Okay, welcome back to another episode of Casey's Beer Re Beer Reviews. Tonight we'll be tasting from the Byron Bay Brewery their premium lager. It's just got a blue label with the triple B's, a bit of a palm tree. Uh, Four point two percent, a three hundred and fifty-five ml bottle. It is crystal clear, as you can see. Uh, the not a craft beer, so it's not a certif certified independent brewery. I do believe it's made by the Line Brewing Company, and they beer is brewed and bottled around Australia in carbon neutral breweries. So, nothing on the internet that really says anything about this beer. About them, probably started in about two thousand and. Eight, I think, in Byron Bay. Uh, Being a main say the local community and link consumers all across the country to the spirit of the region. It's a refreshing, easy drinking beer that connects you to the distinct energy of the town. That's what they say. I say bullshit. It's a commercial beer. Uh, they've just used the Byron Bay name to give it a bit of. A uh, bit of pizzazz. Let's go out and drink it. Anyway, let's, let's just get it over. There it is. It's a bit of carbonation once you open it. Inside the bottle top, it just says Open Byron. Sorry, there you go. Open Byron. If you can read that. Oh, smell smells pretty rank straight off the bat. Let's get it in the glass. So as you can see, it's, it is clear. No haziness at all to that. Slightly carbonated. We're going all the way to Byron Bay on the ferry. There's no fog stopping us. Yep, once it's in that glass, it's still a bit smelly. Light, little froth at the top, light white colour. Uh, it is a very straw coloured amber. So let's just taste this stuff because there's nothing else left to talk about it. I think it was about 20 bucks for a six pack. Yeah, that's pretty rank on the taste as well. It's got that, it's sort of, it's got that to his new sort of taste to it. Obviously, it's brewed by line, so it's got to have that same sort of flavors to it. Other than, I can't really even taste, there's no fruitiness, there's no floralness, there's no resinous. It just tastes like cheap piss. I don't know, you think for Byron, they would, um, would have given it, given it something. I reckon a more of a piney, more like an IPA sort of flavouring than this. This is like a nothing flavour, really. It just tastes like fucking warm fucking pus. It's not good. So, I don't know. I wouldn't buy it again. I don't think I'm going to even drink the other five. got that uh, other beer I reviewed was the Mornington Peninsula Draft that's got that sort of cheap taste to it so I'm not going to fuck around let's just rank this shit uh, I'm going to give it piss poor bloody piss poor 
It's not even fucking worth buying. It's not even fucking worth drinking. It's not even worth fucking sending. But we're here. So don't fucking buy this. This is fucking absolute rubbish. You'd be better off buying a VB, I reckon. Or a carton dry. Or a carton draft. Wouldn't buy anything to his because that's fucking shit as well. Maybe the old. To his old's alright. The rest of two is fucking shit. So, hope you enjoyed this beer review. Don't buy this Byron Bay shit. It's fucking crap. Send it. That's not good. That is not fucking good. That is fucking horrible.